Hello, friends. It's Chop. We get emails all the time. We get emails all the time <laughs> saying, where's Catherine? We want more Catherine. Every time no one's talking, Catherine should be there. And it's true. I, I'm constantly emailing Chapo saying, where's Amber uh, as well? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are, uh, we're back from tour. Um, let's kick things off with uh, probably, the most, probably the most important news story of the year, if not the decade. Folks, it finally happened. Elon Musk is now in charge of Twitter. Woo! Co- comedy, <laughs> is, comedy is now legal again. And, you know, the shackles are off. And, you know, we're, it's time for some brave truth-telling to happen on Twitter. And uh, we will not be censored. We will not be censored because Elon Musk is at the reins. Patriots uh, are in. Yes. Patriots are in control. Finally, uh, truth and, and comedy are coming back to everyone's favorite website. Although, all I've been seeing this week is a lot of whining about people who saying, like, oh, Twitter's dead, we need to move to a different website, blah, 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 all this shit. And I guess what I'm saying, I know it's only the first week, but I haven't noticed anything different. Well, uh, I personally... I feel that my shadow ban has finally been lifted. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not being throttled anymore. Uh, uh, also, my Havana syndrome has cleared up, so I'm very happy about it. Did you did you see uh, the, the Jews was trending the other day? That's cool. Just the, the Jews. Yeah. I thought it would be funnier. I thought Twitter w- with Elon at the head would be a funnier Twitter. It's not. It seems sad. Well, everybody's just freaking out because everybody... Is this, a, this whole thing is actually very instructive because it's people desperately wanting the world to end so that they don't have to go to work anymore or log on to Twitter anymore. Like, well, frankly, nobody, I agree. Every, every, no one has any, like, nobody has any faith that they have the willpower to like, change or be a different person. But if Elon <clears throat> destroys Twitter, then they don't have to. They get it, they get it changed for them. And that's, I think, why it's, it's all... It's all secret wishing, like, oh, please, please release me. But I'm afraid. I'm sorry. There's no escape. There's nowhere else to go. I don't know what's going to happen, but it, it, there's, there's the demand for the space, and that means that people are going to need to fill it. I don't know. I mean, I, it seems like the, the, uh, the immediate issues are, uh, one, Matt, as you already, as you already outlined, um, all of us have been um, unshadow banned. So I've seen my follower count skyrocket. <laughs> I've seen my posts. My posts are doing numbers like they've never done before because I'm finally stopped from being censored. Um, now I gotta say, uh, if if anyone has ever complained about shadow band, it's because your posts suck. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. Nobody cares. No one's throttled you. You should. You should. Hey, you should. You should uh, tie a belt to a doorknob and throttle yourself. How about that? You should consider doing better posts. Yeah, it is only the most annoying pedants in the world who who. Bl- who, I mean, like, look, if they have been shadow banned, good. Um, have I been shadow banned? No, but I'd like to be. If Elon's listening, I would love you to, like, half my follower count. I would love, I would love my posts to be seen by, like, a maximum of 10 people. That, w- that would be good for me. Um, I mean, and then it'd I guess be healthy, thing- mentally. <laughs> well, then we Next. could go back to the way, like, like, when Twitter was the Wild West and you could just tweet death threats at journalists and with, without getting... Like a little pop up being like, "Is your mental health okay?" Or like, <laughs> do, do people, uh, most people don't tweet like this. But most people should be tweeting like that. Is my take. Yeah, most people don't respond to Jonathan Shade with a gif of a Gatling gun. But I'm not most people. I'm built <laughs> different. And I guess like the other, the, the other, the other issue is this whole sort of like a subscription tier for blue checks, which once again doesn't affect me at all. I don't give a shit. I've never had a blue check. Don't want one. Not going to be paying eight dollars a month to get one. However, I would pay, I would pay a discreet eight dollar service charge per death threat I'm allowed to send. That's a money maker. You would, you would pay twenty to thirty dollars per death threat that you were allowed to send. The paid for verification thing is pretty interesting because he pitches it as this democratizing force, like oh, the fancy blue checks aren't going to rule over you anymore because anybody can have a blue check. But of course, that means that uh, the blue check becomes completely worthless. So no, there's no reason to buy it unless you're a total uh, one of the Elon fan f- boy dipshits, you know, who who probably like just send him a check every month anyway just to support his general <laughs> vibe because they they think he's the future of humanity. So there's no money there. I do think though there is a player as long if he can hold on to the company without it just falling to pieces like a fucking uh, like the Blues Brothers mobile at the end of the movie. What will eventually happen is that. If you aren't verified, the site will be basically unusable. 
<laughs> you will be so inundated with spam and bullshit that you, there isn't even a timeline. There's just catheter ads up and down the, the thing, and like you gotta scroll for five minutes to get to a post. Oh, but if oh, you hey, have that getting older. eight dollar verification thing, oh, there, there's only a third as many ads. So I think that's how they're gonna. That's if he has a plan to make money with that, because like the idea he has of oh, people will buy the check mark. That's insane. But if you have to have the check mark to actually get the site to work, then that that might get people to to uh, like what it'll be is people will look in their soul and be like, oh, my God, am I really going to pay eight dollars a month you, for this fucking site? Do many of and you then have check marks? No, uh, Felix, uh, Felix, has Felix, Felix does. Felix is check mark. He's a he's Felix. blue check swine. He's a he's a digital Felix, you're lord. Passed up. And we are There's... we are humble serfs at his command. Yeah. It's also it's also really funny because like I got a blue check mark like ages and ages ago before... The beast. The beast. She, she she has the mark of the beast. Um I got it ages and ages ago like before I was even like a New York media person. Like during the whole push, maybe like when I was a college journalist, during that whole push to like verify any like local journalists because the, the the value proposition was adding value to the site by showing you people people who are like an authority or a value add to the sites. Uh, now that is why now there's there's still these these people out there with like 600 followers of the verified mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now that'll still not very valuable. Yes, and now it'll be a different group of 600 va- follower people with uh, names like. Space X boy or whatever the fuck or uh, Tesla N- super fan. Lover 69. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good ad. Yeah. No one no one take that. Check mark stomper 1488. That's also really good. And uh, uh listeners, I'll, I'll have you know, I mean you're only listening to this. Uh you don't see the video feed. When Catherine said New York media person, I don't know why but uh, she took her thumb and forefinger and placed it against her forehead <laughs> and nose like that. I did not do that. I did not I did not do that. Um, Someone's uh, been and, listening and to, to the to uh, Donda Two. No, I mean Catherine's always Catherine's always trying to get me to watch you know like TV shows and movies that she wants to watch. And she was like, I heard about this great documentary that Kyrie Irving <laughs> recommended, <laughs> and I gotta say it had some interesting points. You were like, I'd have already seen it. <laughs> I have it on Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Criterion. I don't, I don't know. Like I mean, like we we weren't making fun of like the uh, the Will Musk by Twitter. Will he not like? It, it, it's a real who care to me because, I mean, the people who owned Twitter before were soulless demons and uh, Musk is just a slightly more entertaining demon. But all of the specific complaints that people have are all things that are like baffling to me because like I've never encountered a problem with any of this shit. Don't care about having a blue check mark. Uh, don't need, uh, don't care about shadow banning. Never been throttled. Or if I have, I haven't noticed it. Don't care. But also like another, another thing that people have talked about are like bots like Musk the was very concerned about bots before so many buying bots. it, My and then bots. people think that like the, 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 like the I, I just I, I I don't know what this concern with bots are. I've never interacted with bots. It's never been a problem for me. I, well, I, a lot I, of I people don't, I don't encounter uh, them. It, it's similar to the shadow banning thing, where it's you're working out your psychological persecution complex, where you know, anybody who you disagree with or, or or posts at you negatively, well, that's a bot. That classic classic sign of a bot. Certainly not an actual person who disagreed with me. That's not possible. Well, te- technically, Will, you have interacted with bots because every hot woman who DMs you um, <laughs> is probably a bot. <laughs> Hello. Hello, dear. <laughs> You're Hello, very dear. handsome. Uh, make, fi- make want marry me, Findom. Would like to connect with you on this website. Oh, man. Hey, a, lot of, a lot of these bots have got some good pussy, though. I've got... I've, <laughs> I, if, I had a, if I had a nickel for every time I get a, a DM from, like, a, a two-follower account... Uh, offering to make me their sugar baby. Um, oh my I god! Could pay for, I, for, I could pay for Twitter Blue. How, how the fuck are you going to afford a Twitter uh, a, a sugar baby when you got two followers? <laughs> That's not money. That's not stack paper. Game up. You got to stack your I followers mean, you know, like, like paper. I know a lot, a lot of people listening to me say they'll be like, like, oh, oh, of course he has never been shadow banned. He's never been throttled. He's never had a problem with blue check marks or bots because he supports the regime. <laughs> And to that, I simply say, if you supported the regime, you wouldn't have these problems. It's true. Either. Everyone you'd has have lots the of followers. Of you have lots of friends. Everyone uh, can people choose like you. to support the regime. That is your right as an American. And if you I do mean, it, it well, you get certain benefits. It's just a cost-benefit analysis. Being with the regime gets you more followers. It keeps you away from the bots. Uh, and I sure hope that uh, Elon, based Elon, doesn't overthrow the regime lovers like us then it would be curtains yeah how how do you think chapo succeeded by supporting the regime it's true 
There is one thing that actually might do significant actual damage to the site and its functionality is apparently he's he has told the engineers that he needs to make like a billion dollars in savings. That's on so like funny. The cloud computing and shit, <laughs> which is, I'm sure, coincidentally, also the nut that they have to pay every year in fucking interest on the loan they took Servicing out to buy the it. Debt, yeah, yeah. Because like, I'm sure there's no oh, coincidence the way, that they're. Oh yeah, uh, you guys got a spare billion hanging around anywhere? By the way, all of the banks that loaned him the money to do this have like basically said, "Yeah, we're gonna take a massive haircut over it's this." It's like shit. The, 